Hello. Welcome to our Bosphorus Tour channel. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do not like. Unique in the world's most beautiful strait separating the Asian and European continents. If you are ready to go for a ride. Many historical artifacts that the Bosphorus offers us. Bosphorus bridges, palaces, and fortresses of Istanbul. We start the Bosphorus tour to see and photograph its mansions and groves. The Bosphorus, or Bosporus with its historical name, is a strait and international waterway that separates the Asian and European continents and connects the Marmara Sea and the Black Sea. Divides into two. The residential area that spans both sides of the Bosphorus is called the Bosphorus. Galata Tower is a tower located in the Galata district of Istanbul, upper part of Karakoy, built in 528, and is one of the most important symbols of the city. From the tower, especially the coastal part of Istanbul, the Golden Horn and the Bosphorus can be viewed panoramically. Galata Tower is considered one of the oldest towers in the world. Galata Tower was built in 528 by the Byzantine Emperor Anastasius as the Lighthouse Tower. The tower, which was heavily damaged in the Fourth Crusade in 1204, was restored in 1348 by the Genos using masonry stones, in addition to the Galata walls, under the name of the Tower of Christ. It was also the tallest building in the city at that time. Galataport Istanbul is among the most important destination projects in the world, covering a 1.2 km coastline on the Bosphorus, with an investment of $1.7 billion. Galataport Istanbul offers an ecosystem in the center of the city that combines all the possibilities and cutting-edge technologies that facilitate daily life with digitalization. Galataport Istanbul offers its visitors a breathing, healthy and safe culture arts, working, shopping and eating and drinking experience with its many features such as accessible and low-rise buildings, architecture designed in a neighborhood concept, in harmony with the historical texture of the region, and alternative transportation opportunities. 
The project, which is a source of inspiration for similar projects around the world, hosts the terminal, which was realized for the first time in the world and was constructed underground with a special cover system. The historical port continues to be Istanbul's gateway to the world from the sea. Galataport Istanbul will host a total of 25 million visitors annually, 7 million of which are foreigners. Within the scope of the project, approximately 1.5 million cruise passengers, including the crew, are expected to visit Istanbul.
Dolmabas Mosque is a building that was started by Bezmialam Valide Sultan, the mother of Sultan Abdulmasit, and completed by Sultan Abdulmasit upon her death, and designed by Garbet Balyang. Dolmabas Mosque, whose real name is Bezmialam Valide Sultan Mosque, but due to its location, was considered as a whole within the Dolmabas Palace and was mentioned together. After more than two years of construction, it was opened to worship on March 23, 1855 with a Friday ceremony. The most distinctive stylistic feature of the mosque is that it has a clear setup and geometry. It is as if the mosque and sultan sections were designed separately depending on their functions and then combined. The mosque is a domed and high mass on a square planned infrastructure. The sultan section, on the other hand, is a rectangular planned prismatic and lower mass. These two masses are joined in the direction of the north side of the mosque. The geometry in this structure is one of the last but most holistic examples of dominant design, empirical style or neoclassicism in the middle of the 19th century. The place of worship, which has been serving as the Naval Museum since September 27, 1948, was given to the Yasada liaison board by the military administration after the May 27 coup, and the committee demanded that the museum evacuate the mosque immediately. Dolmabas Palace is an Ottoman palace located on an area of 250.000 square meters in Istanbul, Beşiktaş, between Dolmabas Street stretching from Kabatas to Beşiktaş and the Bosphorus. It is located on the left bank at the entrance to the Bosphorus from the Sea of Marmara, opposite Askuda and Kuzgunkuk. The construction of the palace, which was built by Sultan Abdulmasid, started in 1843 and was completed in 1856. Today it is used as a museum. Although its view from the sea is western, the Dolmabas Palace, which is surrounded by high walls on the garden side and has an eastern appearance due to its separate units, was built on a 600m long marble pier, 18, the distance from the Mabane office, today the painting and sculpture museum, to the Crown Prince's office is 284m. In the middle of this distance, there is the ceremony, inspection, circle, which draws attention with its height. The largest ballroom among the palaces in the world is in this palace. A huge crystal chandelier weighing 4.5 tons hangs from its 36-meter high dome. This hall, which was used in important political meetings, greetings and balls, was previously heated with an oven-like arrangement at the bottom. The heating and electricity system was added to the palace between 1910 and 1912, during the reign of Sultan Mehmet Rezad. Of the six baths, the one in the Selamnik section is decorated with carved alabaster marbles. The upper galleries of the Great Hall are reserved for the orchestra and diplomats.
The place of Sran, located between Besiktas and Ortakoy today, was known as Kazankalul Gardens in the 17th century. The seafront palaces and gardens that adorned the shores of Besiktas in the 18th century were considered to be the most important symbols of the love of flowers and music period known as the Tulip Era. This period was an era of cultural brilliance as well as entertainment. The ruler of the period, 3. Ahmed gifted his property here to his favorite Grand Vizier Ibrahim Pasha and the first mansion was built by Damat Ibrahim Pasha from Nebsahir for his wife Fatma Sultan, daughter of Ahmed III. He organized the torch festivals called Slan festivals here. Because of these events, this area began to be called Slan, which means light in Persian. On November 14, 1909, Slan Palace started to be used as the parliament building. During this period, too, works by Rembrandt and Ivazovsky are included in Abdulhamid's great art collection. On January 19, 1910, the palace burned down within five hours with a fire that broke out from the central heating chimney in the upper part of the Parliament Hall and on the roof, very valuable antiques, too. Abdulhamid's private collection and V. Murad's library were also burned to ashes. During the period when Istanbul was occupied at the end of World War II, the ruins of the Slan Palace were used by a French fortification unit called the Bezo Barracks. Later, Professor Bonatz and the famous Turkish architect Professor Sidat Hak Eldam conducted investigations to build a touristic hotel here. In 1946, the tombs belonging to the Mevlevi dervishes in the basement of the palace were destroyed during the excavations made by an engineer captain to search for gold, and the palace was left to the Istanbul Metropolitan Municipality with a law enacted in the same year. Japanese Kumagai Gumi and Turk Yuxul Inate.S. In 1990, the hotel was opened, and in 1992 the palace was put into service. After a long design and construction work, Sran Palace Hotel was opened in 1990. The historical palace, on the other hand, opened its doors in 1992. The subsequent renovation of the palace was completed on April 20, 2006, and the palace suites were completely renovated.
Bayak Mesidai Mosque, or Autokoi Mosque, as it is known among the people, is a neo-Baroque-style mosque located on the beach in the Autokoi district of Besiktas district on the Bosphorus in Istanbul. The mosque was built by the Armenian architect Niguz Balyang by Sultan Abdulmasid in 1853. The mosque, which is a very elegant building, is in the Baroque style. It is placed in a unique location on the Bosphorus. As in all Sayalotan mosques, it consists of two parts, the harem and the sultan section. Wide and high windows are arranged to bring the changing lights of the Bosphorus into the mosque. The building, which can be reached by stairs, has two minarets with a single balcony. Its walls are made of white cut stone. The walls of the single dome are made of pink mosaic. The mirab is made of mosaic and marble, the pulpit is made of marble covered with porphyry and is the product of a fine workmanship. The building, which is very fragile in terms of statics, was repaired in 1862 and 1866 and when it suffered great damage in the earthquake of 1894, it was repaired again in 1909 by the Ministry of Evkaf. In this repair, the old fluted minarets that were destroyed were built as smooth, and the honeycomb and cone parts of the minarets and various parts of the building were renewed. In the 1960s, the ground was reinforced and the dome was renewed during the restoration works initiated by the General Directorate of Foundations due to cracking in the building. The mosque, which was closed for worship during this repair, was reopened in 1969. The building, which was partially destroyed as a result of a great fire in 1984, was restored again.
Oligarch Istanbul is a 2000 capacity night venue with luxurious buildings on the Bosphorus. Oligarch Istanbul, located on an area of 5,000 square meters, is located on the Bosphorus with four different construction sites and a winter nightclub. As of writing, a nightclub will serve approximately 3,000 people. Oligarch is the new food and beverage complex of Istanbul. Galatasaray Island or Kurasesm Island is an island located 165 m off the Kurasesm coast in the Bosphorus. It is the title deed property of Galatasaray Sports Club. The island, which was gifted to Sarkis Balyan by Sultan Abdulaziz in 1872, was known as Sarkis Bay Island for a while. During the Ottoman period, this island, where the famous painter Ivazovsky stayed, was turned into a coal warehouse since 1914. After a while, it became a place that provided fuel to City Lines ferries. Kurasesm Island, which was planned to be opened to the public as a touristic facility at that time, was purchased in 1957 with the initiatives of Galatasaray Sports Club President Sadik Giz for 150,000 TL and offered to Galatasaray members. Between 1956 and 1992, it served as a school that trained students in rowing. Between 1957 to 1968, it was allocated to the Galatasaray Sports Club water polo branch. In 2006, it was leased to Mehmet Kokarslan, the entertainment venue and restaurant operator, for three years. The operator named the facilities on the island Swada. Arnavutkoy is a well-established and historical neighborhood within the borders of Besiktas district on the European side of Istanbul's Bosphorus. Arnavutkoy is located on the coast on the European side of the Bosphorus, between Kurasesm and Bibek. The rear border of the district, which starts from the coast and rises towards the hills, is based on Ulus, which is spreading rapidly today. Opposite Arnavutkoy, there are Kandili, Uskadar and Vanikoy districts on the Anatolian side of the Bosphorus. Arnavutkoy is a settlement that comes to mind first and has preserved its authentic structure. While it was administratively affiliated to the Galata Judgeship during the Ottoman period, it remained in the Besiktas district during the Republican period. As a result of the restoration works, an authentic building phase has been formed in Arnavutkoy, and a more touristic character has been achieved by getting rid of other reinforced concrete structures. The police station and the Teviki mosque next to it are of Hellenic type. Before the television fashion, until the mid-70s, there was an open-air cinema called Uncle Cinema in the place of a garage located behind the Greek primary school today. There was also a closed winter cinema in the bazaar where today's Zirat Bank branch is located. At the beginning of the 1980s, the route of the coastal road was passed in front of the mansions by making a curve from akin to Berna location, which is called Pyle Road, to today's K. Y. E. Anatolian High School. The location of Arnavutkoy Pier was also changed. Although the road is double lane, it has not lost its feature of a promenade.
Akin to Bernu is a protuberance extending towards the sea in Arnabutkoi, the famous district of Besiktas district, in the Bosphorus, the continuous surface current in the headland, which can reach a speed of up to 12 knots per hour from the Black Sea to the direction of the Marmara Sea, and the eddies created by this current are still a problem for seafarers some unguided ships crash into the pile road in this area without being able to catch the nose, during foggy times and due to technical failures or straying the route. Mansions, mansions and fish restaurants on the shores get their share from these accidents, which are quite common in the Bosphorus. In the 1970s, there were public tea houses established illegally from the municipality. The coastal road, which was reorganized in the 1980s, became a place where everyone could freely roam and fish, especially as a result of the pile road built in front of Arnabutkoi. There is a municipal rest and tea facility in the immediate vicinity. There is a lighthouse at Akinta Bernu and opportunities for excursions and fishing along the coast, from Ortakoi to Bibek. This was the settlement of the old Istanbul Greeks and its old name was Mega Revma, Great Current, in Greek. It is claimed that the oldest known name of the district, which is thought to date back to the pre-Christian era as a small fishing village, is Halai, a corrupted form of the word Skalai, Piers, written in various ways, Chali, Chilai, Kyle, in various sources, the first information about Bibek and the origin of the name Bibek go back to just before the conquest of Istanbul. Some sources, especially of Leah Shalebi, it is stated that Memd appointed a company chief named Bibek Shalebi or nicknamed Baby Shalebi to ensure security during the construction of Rumilai Fortress and the siege. He writes that Bibek Shalebi established a mansion and a garden in the district, and that the district was named after him after his death. 
Babies becoming a popular District 3. Ahmed, pages 1703 to 1730, and Grand Vizier. It coincides with the time of Nefsahurli Damat Ibrahim Pasha. During this period, Humayunabad Pavilion, Bibek Mosque, School, Fountain, Turkish Bath, Mill and Shops were built in Bibek Garden, and the district started to get crowded, Turks, Greeks, Jews, Georgians and Armenians built mansions, mansions and mansions in the district. Kavafayan Mansion, the oldest surviving mansion in Istanbul, which has survived from the 18th century, is also located in Bibek. The start of ferry services from the middle of the 19th century, and then the arrival of the tram, played a role in the district's transformation from being a summer residence into a constantly lived district. Since the end of the 19th century, mansions and mansions have increased on the beach and towards the ridges. In the book Bogazasai, published by Company I Herai in 1914, it is recorded that the majority of Bibek is Muslim, but there are also British, French and Americans. The presence of Americans can be attributed to the teachers who taught at Robert College and Arnavutkoy American College for Girls, founded in Bibek in 1863. During the rapid construction that destroyed the Bosphorus Hills and Groves after 1965 to 1970, the green of Bibek ridges disappeared to a large extent, wooden and old masonry houses were demolished and apartments were built in their place, Bibek Hill was connected to Edeler by a very busy road, in Syra Slope. Rumilai Fortress, also known as Bogazkizan Fortress, is a fortress located on the Bosphorus in Istanbul's Sarıyer district, giving its name to the district it is located in. 
It was built by Fadi Sultan Mehmet before the conquest of Istanbul in order to prevent attacks from the Black Sea at the narrowest, 698m, 2, place of the Bosphorus, directly opposite the Anadolu Hazari on the Anatolian side, Hisart covers an area of 30 decayers, the three great towers of the fortress, which was completed in a short period of 90 days, have the largest bastions in the world. Rumilai Fortress's name is Kulai Sedide in Fadi Foundation Charters, Yanis Hisar on its publication date, it is mentioned as Bogaskis in Fortress in the histories of Kemal Pasazade, Asik Pasazade, and Nisansi. Rumilai Fortress concerts have been held in the venue for many years, the construction of the fort began on April 15, 1452. By making a division of labor, the construction of each section was given to a pasha, and the construction of the section falling on the seaside was undertaken by Fadi Sultan Mehmet himself. When viewed from the sea, Saruka Pasha supervised the construction of the tower on the right, Zaganos Pasha oversaw the construction of the one on the left, and Halil Pasha oversaw the construction of the tower on the shore. The towers here bear the names of these Pashas. The construction of the fort was completed on August 31, 1452. Rumilai Fortress has three big and small Zaganos Pasha and 13 big and small bastions named Saruka Pasha, Halil Pasha, and Zaganos Pasha. Along with the ground floors, Saruka Pasha and Halil Pasha Towers have nine floors, and Zaganos Pasha Tower has eight floors. The diameter of Saruka Pasha Tower is 23.30 meters, its wall thickness is 7 meters and its height is 28 meters. The diameter of the Zaganos Pasha Tower is 26.70 meters, the wall thickness is 5.70 meters, and its height is 21 meters. Halil Pasha Tower has a diameter of 23.30 meters, a wall thickness of 6.5 meters and a height of 22 meters. Rumilai Fortress was badly damaged in the Great Istanbul Earthquake of 1509, but was immediately repaired. The wooden part was destroyed in the fire in 1746. Hisar again 3. It was repaired during the reign of Selim, 1789 to 1807. When the wooden cones covering the towers of the fortress were destroyed, the inside of the fortress was filled with small wooden houses. Three Turkish women architects, Kahai Tamaraksel, Selma Emler and Mwala Ayuboblu and Heger, with the instruction of the president of 1953, Silo Bayer, started the necessary works for the repair of the fortress, the wooden houses in the castle were expropriated and demolished and restoration was carried out. Fadi Sultan Mehmet Bridge is the suspension bridge between Kavasik and Hizarustu in Istanbul, connecting Asia and Europe for the second time after the Bosphorus Bridge. Its length between the anchor blocks is 1,510 m, its middle span is 1,090 m, its width is 39 m, and its height from the sea is 64 m. The foundation of the bridge was laid on May 29, 1985, and its construction started on December 4, 1985. This great project, which is still ranked 14th among the largest steel suspension bridges in the world, was put into service on July 3, 1988 by the then Prime Minister Turgut Özel. The project services of the bridge are provided by the British Freeman, Fox and Partners firm and Botek Bogazisai Technik News of Erlik A.S. Company, 5, and its construction was undertaken by STFA from Turkey, Ishikawaja Maharama Heavy Industries Company of Japan. Limited, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Limited and Nippon Koken K, K, for $125 million.
Kaleli Military High School, or today officially the National Defense University School of Foreign Languages Kaleli Campus, is a military school located on the Anatolian side, on the shores of the Bosphorus. Officer candidates who won the military academy in today's campus receive foreign language training for one year. Previously, the aim of the school was to train officers for the Turkish Armed Forces and students who would be a resource for the Turkish Military Academy. In order to enter the school, compliance with the criteria determined by the Turkish Armed Forces was based. Kaleli Military High School, along with other military schools, was closed on July 31, 2016 with the decree with the force of law declared after the 2016 Turkish military coup attempt the building currently serves military students studying at the National Defense University.
Baylor Bay Palace is a palace complex that is located in the Üsküdar district of Istanbul, Turkey, and is used as a museum today, consisting of a palace and various buildings and mansions attached to it. It takes its name from the Baylor Bay district where it is located. It was built by the order of the Ottoman Sultan Abdulaziz between 1861 and 1864 under the architecture of Sarkis Balyan. Before the present-day palace was built, this area had a wooden palace built in 1832 and some structures within it. Ottoman Sultan II A fire broke out in this building, which was built by Mahmud as a summer palace, in 1851 while Sultan Abdulmasid was staying. From this date on, it was not used on the grounds that it was sinister and was demolished in 1861 by the order of Abdulaziz, who took the throne.
After the naval victory at Cyzicus in 408 BC, the Athenian general Alcibiades built a special station on a small rock in front of Uskadar, probably for ships coming from the Black Sea. The tower, which has become the symbol of Uskadar, is the only artifact left from the Byzantine period in Uskadar. It has a history dating back to 24 BC. In 1110, Byzantine Emperor Alexios I built a wooden tower protected by a stone wall. An iron chain was stretched from the tower to another tower erected in the Mangana district in Constantinople, a neighborhood on the historical peninsula. It was connected to the Asian coast with its wall. Formerly known as the Holy Wisdom Church and Hagia Sophia Museum, or today officially known as Hagia Sophia I Kabir Kemi I Serafi, Holy Great Hagia Sophia Mosque, is a mosque and former basilica, cathedral and museum located in Istanbul. It was a basilica planned patriarchal cathedral built by the Byzantine Emperor Justinian I between 532 to 537 in the old city center of Istanbul's historical peninsula. After the conquest of Istanbul by the Ottomans in 1453, too, it was converted into a mosque by Memd. It was converted into a museum by the decree of the Council of Ministers published by Mustafa Kemal Ataturk in 1934, excavation and renovation works were started and it served as a museum from 1935 to 2020. In 2020, the status of a museum was cancelled and the status of a mosque was given. Hagia Sophia is a domed basilica-type building that combines the central plan in terms of architecture, and is considered an important turning point in the history of architecture with its dome passage and carrier system features. For Christians, it is a touristic and spiritual center of attraction, as well as being both a symbolic and an axis.
Dalada Bridge is the bridge built on the Golden Horn in Istanbul, connecting Karakoy and Emanonu. Galata Bridge, which was completed and put into service in December 1994 and is in service today, is a scale bridge with a length of 490 meters and an 80 meter part that can be opened. It is one of the rare bascule bridges over which a tram passes in the world. The first bridge connecting the Golden Horn and known as the Galata Bridge was built in 1845. This bridge was renovated in 1863, 1875, and 1912, built in 1912. The bridge in the style of the first national architecture movement has become one of the symbols of the city. Galata Bridge, the symbol of the city, burned down in 1992 and its name was changed to Historical Galata Bridge.